masculine energy is such a dick. Like, he's, you no, know, he doesn't talk to me, and he doesn't want to do anything, and he just wants to, like, you know, be really standoffish, and, like, maybe just want to, just wants to arm wrestle and beat on his chest, and, like, I'm just sick of it. And then, like, the masculine energy in, in this journey is like, well, you know, the feminine is, like, wishy-washy, and they're, they can't make a dis freaking decision. They don't, they don't know what they want. I don't know. It's, like, impossible. And, like, you know, you just, like, really uh, in agreement to these patterns that you believe are uh, what your what your counterpart is supposed to be right because you're maybe you're you're the feminine and you're you're on this journey and you're aware of what's happening uh, but you can't really rope together every masculine energy that they're doing the exact same thing because there are masculine energies in your shoes that are going through this journey as you're going through this journey, the aware one. And then there are um, plenty of masculine and feminine energies that are, uh, are your counterparts that are going through this journey as uh, what, we, what we might call the unaware twin or somebody that doesn't, uh, isn't really consciously aware that they're a twin flame and, you know, whatever else. But that's not to say that, um, that these patterns that you're, uh, associating to these things are correct. Well, they're doing every single thing that one of my ex-boyfriends did. And then, you know, it's like, well, they're doing every single thing that one of my, that all of my ex-girlfriends did. It's like, good. I mean, that's, that's what they're supposed to be doing. They're breaking that pattern. You, you're believing in a pattern that, like, the masculine has to act a certain way and that the feminine or that the feminine has to act a certain way. Like a gender role that like they're they're masculine, they do this, this, and this, and they're feminine, they do this, this, and this. No. Not necessarily. Doesn't have to be that way. Sure, masculine can like masculine things, but they can also be sensitive and they can also show love and they can also um, have any quality of of a feminine uh, energy and same goes for the feminine like they can uh, you know like flowers and like to take care of children or whatever the case may be but they can also uh, love to be in a beer drinking competition or whatever the case is there's no defined roles it's just your energy you are the feminine or you are the masculine energy your role in this as an aware uh, part of this journey is to identify what it is that they are revealing to you right there's there's not like it's it wouldn't be efficient for them to be doing the exact same thing that you're doing it doesn't matter if they're aware of what a twin flame is that has that really doesn't make any difference. The connection is what matters. They know the connection. You know the connection. The labels don't matter. So like they're doing things pretty purposely not to hurt you, but to bring to your awareness and so that you can identify some a place within yourself 
that you are out of alignment of loving yourself and to heal that because they have that same place within them that needs to be healed. So when you heal it for yourself, it heals it for them. They want to be free just as much as you want to be free. They want to heal as much as you want to heal. And not to say that they aren't healing anything, because they are. But these things are like, you know, you you are the creator of your own reality, right? But like, you're not in control of what things look like. You're not in control of how they manifest. You're not in control of uh, how it comes about, how it appears, what it is. But you are in control of how you view that, how you look at that, how you perceive that. You can perceive it. This is your choice. You can perceive it as they're purposely doing something to hurt me or they're purposely ignoring me or they're purposely not talking to me or purposely doing A to Z. Or you can perceive it and view it as what do I t what what am I going to take away from what they're showing me in order to identify and heal it for the both of us? Because you have your role on this journey and they have their role. You're both working toward union. You're just doing something different than they are. Right? That's that's co-creation. That's interdependence. That's not being codependent on somebody to provide you something. Right? You're working as one to get back into union or get into union or whatever the case is, wherever you're at in your journey. You're working together to do that, to solve that. Like I said, one has one, has one job and one has an, and another, you have another. Look at it from that mindset. Look at it from that perspective. All right, go ahead and hit the like button. And start looking at things from that perspective. Look at things that from the perspective of what can I learn from this? What can I take away from this? What can I do to better myself from this situation, conversation, interaction with them? What can I, how can I take the lesson out of what is being shown to me to heal it for me, not, but not just for me, for them too? Right? So visit asoneguidance.com and you know take a look at uh, the coaching services I offer and uh, my e-course and leave a comment down below. Be very, very nice and supportive with each other and I will see you all next time.